just say this a lot of times you're not as sensitive to the Holy Spirit as you think you can miss him so easily when you have an apostle and a prophet in your life they are trainers always remember that an apostle and a prophet is a trainer your apostle is a trainer they come to train you so they're not going to always make you feel good. And you got to take that if you want to grow. A lot of people, they run from apostles and prophets, but they end up in a bad place because God sent the apostle and the prophet to them. But they ran because a lot of times people do not know how to receive the Jesus that trains you. The Jesus that trains you. The Jesus that trains you is not dealing with feelings or emotions. The Jesus that trains you will tell you that even though your father died, let the dead bury their own dead. That's the Jesus that trains you. The Jesus that trains you is not going to sympathize with foolish stuff like you do. A lot of times we want Jesus to sympathize. You may want Jesus to sympathize with things that he's trying to get you out of. And God will send the apostle and the prophet to you because they are trainers, meaning they are not operating in a place of trying to get your feelings to be satisfied or get your opinion to be satisfied or to get your intellect to be satisfied. The apostle and the prophet is coming to stretch you out of what you think is right. What you was told was right. And they come to train you. One thing about apostles is that an apostle is going to come into your life 
to teach you about God's government. God's government is where the Lord is the only instructor. He instruct you financially. He instruct you maritally. He instruct you uh, physically. Uh, he instruct you in every dimension. An apostle comes to train you with the seed so that you can learn how to sow. So that you can learn how to honor God financially. Because a lot of times our definition of honor is really disrespectful to God. Meaning that we give him crumbs. We don't give him our best. We give him crumbs. And when we give him crumbs, then we want him to give us his best. But we don't see that. We just reap in what we sow. Our apostle comes to train you with the seed. The apostle comes to train you with sowing. Because money is how God judges you in the apostolic. Always remember that. If you look in the Bible, it was Ananias and Sapphira that apostle Peter was sent to them to judge them with the seed. So an apostle going to come with a message to teach you and train you how to honor God. Not by your intellect. Not by what you was told. Not by what you feel. But to honor God the way that he want to be honored. And a lot of times, here's the thing, saints. How God wants to be honored is completely opposite to how you want to honor him. It goes against what you want to do. Because what you want to do is easier. It don't take no heart. It don't take uh, no discipline. It don't take no surrender. Most times, how you want to honor God is it doesn't move your faith. It doesn't move your hope. It doesn't move any part of you. It's just nothingness. Saints, always remember that if it doesn't move you, it's not going to move Jesus. If it don't make you say wow, it's not going to make Jesus say wow. Stretching yourself is apostolic. Stretching yourself. Everything that you do, you want to increase it. If you praise, praise more. If you pray, pray more. If you forgive, forgive more. If you worship, worship more. If you study the word, study the word more. If you are in uh, maturity, become mature more. In the apostolic, everything that you do must be multiplied. You must do it more. You must say it 